this is how we get to our clip art um, that comes with the WinPC sign program. And um, what you do is you come over here to your to the right hand side and you see a local clip art folder. Just go ahead and click that. And here we have all kinds of clip art that comes up. And you've got your A, B, C, D, E, F, all this down in the bottom part down through here. So what you do is just go through here and, and find something that you like and click on it twice and then what's actually happening is it's this will show the different ones that come up there's 48 logos underneath the characters so we clicked on the logo thing and we've got 48 logos so let's just go ahead and and uh, let's get this beaver guy here so what it's doing is it's transferring that logo over onto my my page right now from there and here we've got you know we've got our little beaver guy here so if we wanted to use this for um, you know for whatever if we wanted to try to rhinestone him if we want to try to take him and and uh, just take the saw part you know and use that or any other part that we can um, we can you know break all and just use him for whatever it is that we need to use him for so that's where all of our clip art is located is right over here underneath that button you know over there and uh, there's just a ton of stuff in here so whoops I've got the corporate logo there okay and um, so it's pulling up now the corporate logo because I just I hit one of the 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 logo sign max corporate logo thing majiggers here so now my hard drive is just doing its work and gonna pull up some of the artwork here for us there we go and here off of my hard drive these are all off of my hard drive and it's off the corporate logo um, thing and up here it tells you double click on the image to see the list of the logos that are in the areas so let's go to that ship over there and here we've got all these different logos over here that we could we could possibly use in and uh, work with so that's how you get to the logos and how you get to the um, the signage and stuff like that and I think this little beaver guy is pretty cute whoops I just broke his little thing apart so let's go back put him back there and give him a shadow again but as you can see you can just you can pick different pieces of him he's vector now so you could just pick different pieces and if you want to simplify him you know just go ahead and pick some of those pieces apart and um, you know get him out of there and um, wow that one I made really big so get rid of it but let's just take his his little his little hat here and get rid of a lot of the the little details that he's got and just simplify his hat but you can you can just see how a lot of times you can just get rid of some of these extra little lines that you don't wanna you don't wanna have in there for one reason or another and if you want them just to be a, a silhouette just pick out all those little vector things and it's gonna be a lot easier to rhinestone once he's got all those little those little images and pieces are gone because those aren't gonna um, pick up very well for rhinestoning so now I just changed his hat into a, a black hat and a black shirt by pulling it apart with, with the EPS program you can do that you can pull any piece you don't want out of there or add pieces to it if you want you could you could take and you could um, right click and hit your duplicate key and make two of those and you could take them you could take them down here and and throw them on his his shirt if you wanted to and you know just make anything different that you want but anyway so that's how you get to the, the clip art over on the on our hard drive or in our program. Just make sure you have your dongle in when you do all this so you'll be ready to go.